Every wood has, has different properties that we look for. Um, for instance, cedar is a very nice planking wood, say for this boat right here. In a mast, you want like white pine or Sitka spruce, something that's, that's very light. Oak is a very strong wood. It's a tough, fibrous wood. Live oak has an interlocked grain. The grain looks kind of like a Brillo pad. We use it for frames and we use it for knees. A knee is like an angle bracket, like a shelf bracket. It's a part that has a very strong curve to it. The material you see behind us here, this is a white oak logs that we've recently acquired that will be used for the restoration of the Mayflower. Longleaf pine is another species that we have a hard time getting, and if we're not for this network of people who know our requirements, we'd have a real tough time getting it. The seaport has developed relationships with municipalities throughout the eastern seaboard and the Gulf Coast, as well as foresters, to let us know when any real sizable pieces of the kind of wood that we look for come down or are available. After Hurricane Gilbert or Hurricane Katrina, we were able to harvest wood that had been blown over by the hurricanes or wood that had been killed by saltwater inundation. So these magnificent trees that are lost to storms find new life in America's tall ships being preserved here at Mystic Seaport that there's some compensation to the community for the loss of that aesthetic beauty. Back in 2010, up at the Naval Shipyard in Charleston, where the Constitution is, as they were excavating for an addition to a hospital up there, they ran into some big timbers as they were digging. As they started to uncover it, they found maybe a soccer field's worth of huge naval timbers. About 75% of that wood they sent to us, and we were able to take that wood and work with it and put it into the morgue during the Morgan's restoration. Finding a piece of wood that has grown to the shape that you need already is infinitely satisfying. <laughs>